Hi everybody and welcome to SA Rugby Magazine's Rugby Wrap. Weekend Wrap, sorry Mark, how are you bud? Good, good. Brumbies, I had them to get pumped. <laughs> so did I, 25 I think I picked. I think as you said, uh, everyone's Super Brew went out the window there and then, except for the 23 guys who play for the Brumbies. They probably put a little wager there on themselves. Surprising result, but the kind of result the tournament also needs. Uh, as much as we mock the Aussie teams, you actually do need them to be quite competitive and to kind of present something that's a bit unpredictable. Um, yeah, they played a flawless first half. Just they played great rugby. I thought those cowbells would be killing them if the mumps wasn't going to do them. But yeah, credit to them and the Chiefs. They've started pulling every game, the Chiefs, and then come back in the second half. They couldn't do it this time. Uh, very good for the Crusaders, though. Uh, kind and of the Stormers. And the Stormers are re-entrenches in the New Zealand Conference, the Crusaders' position. Mm. And they are the more consistent team uh, at the moment. And then equally disappointing for me, the Bulls. Jeez, I mean, I think you picked today. Eh? The Blues by a point. Mm. And uh, they did it by two points. Um, yeah. But yeah, I just thought at Loftus, at home, at an altitude... That is a poor blue side, and they should have put them away. Yeah, if memory serves, you and James picked them both by 15. 15 points comfortably. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, it wasn't very good for me with the Brumbies and the, and the Bulls. Uh, but for the rest, I came through. Well, at least you didn't pick the Sunwolves to beat the Reds like James did. Yeah, I know. That was, that was a shocker. And I didn't, I didn't think they would lose 66-7. But, um, they didn't. They lost 64-5. 64 64 <laughs> 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 Differential is the same. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah, just, uh, you know, we, you said it right at the start. Uh, you wouldn't pick them to win a game. Uh, I said they may win one game, but they'll still end bottom of the table. And they won that one game in the first week. Mm. I can't see them winning very much. And they've got two or three competitive performances in them. The minute they go on the road, they're going to struggle. Yeah, man, the, the, the Sunwolves lost in the opening, uh, won in the opening round to a Rebel side that is flattering to deceive right now. Yeah, I mean, and you also see the Sharks comfortably put them away. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's uh, the big one, as we said, Brumby's big surprise. Mm. Blue's not such a big surprise, given that you had backed them. Yeah. Uh, but the team that really, I thought, played particularly well, and I don't think has got the credit, I watched the press conference afterwards, and you would have thought the Stormers had lost by 20 points. Yeah. The way they were talking to, to John Dobbs and the media, saying you can't be happy. That is an Argentinian test side, the Pumas. And to have them 17-0 down, for them to score only in the 68th minute, mm. I thought was a hell of a good effort. And the Stormers side, I thought, came back from that, that indifferent performance in Johannesburg and really dominated from the outset. And we're never going to lose that game. No, I, I actually went to the game. It was the it was, uh, first time I've been to the stadium in uh, four years. Had a great time, met some good Argentinian lads after the game, as the rugby fraternity tends to bring people together. A lot of tequilas, a lot of beer. It was a good atmosphere. And um, yeah, they never looked, they never looked uh, troubled. Well, that's not true. When it was 17-7 and that, uh, when, when, that uh, when they scored that try, I thought, oh God, 17-14, you know, it's... Um, Look, it's a good Jaguary side and uh, it's a good win for the Stormers. Four from four. Yeah, um, yeah I, I do get fed up with all the Stormers fans. Or non-Stormers fans, South African fans saying, yeah, it's four games, wait, wait till the fade starts. It's like, what, what, what else do you have to do? Four out of four, uh, giving up the least points in the competition. Um, happy days for Stormers fans. Yeah, and to go two and uh, two-thirds games without conceding a try at Newlands is a great effort. And what I enjoyed was the way they came back from where they got a bit helter-skelter against the Lions. Mm. The lessons were learned very quickly. And that Jaguaris pack is a test pack. And the Stormers were very good against them. They mauled well against them. I thought, uh, I thought Kutsia was outstanding again at the breakdown. And Herschel Yankees obviously just gives that team something. The interesting thing is the criticism that's been weighted at Damian Willemsen. And again, he's 21 years old. Mm. One of the most gifted 10s in South Africa, if not in the world. Allow him to play. Allow him to get better. Yeah. You know, Percy Montgomery at 21 was making mistakes. Dan Carter at 21 was making mistakes. Stephen Larkin was making mistakes. Those are the same people, Mark, that probably scream at their kids in the under seven, under eight games at, uh, at Sachs or Bishops, you know, that, that, that take the piss out of them. Let him play. Let him make his mistakes. He's going to make them. I don't know if they scream at them at Sachs or Bishops, but definitely Rondebosch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it was, and we've got an interesting schedule this week, but we'll, get, we'll talk about that in the next show. Yeah. So all in all, not a bad, uh, not a bad weekend for for the South African teams. They won two out of three. Not at all. And if you're looking again, Crusaders up there, Stormers up there, Brumby surprising us by being up there, Chiefs a bit inconsistent. 
uh, and Sharks. I'm glad they came back and got the win. Important. That's two away wins on tour, and that's and with bonus points, that's worth gold. How bad are the Rebels, though? Awful. Mm. <laughs> Awful. Pretty bad, eh? Terrible. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, Mark, for coming in, and we'll uh, chat uh, to you again, James, next in the next couple of days. Thanks, man.